You weren't there in the Waldorf, were you? Mm-mm. It's actually haunted. Really? Yeah. The Queen Mary. Yeah, is a haunt. It actually haunted, and it, it's creepy as when you're there. So my name is Olivia, and I'm with Cine World, and we are very excited to be bringing Amsterdam to the big screen. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. We're very excited for people to see this on the big screen. So your characters are sort of on two different sides of the story, but from the same social circles and family. How would you describe your character's sibling bond? I think they have actually a really nice sibling bond. I mean, it's something we spoke about earlier. I think there's definitely that thing where, you know, blood is blood. Like your 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 siblings. It's like someone else can say you can say something. Like Valerie can say to Tom, mm. "You're a coward." But if anyone else called him a coward, should you know <laughs> rip their eyes out? It's and I think that's so true of siblings. You know, I'd say all sorts of things to my brothers and sister. But if I heard anyone else say that, I'd be like, "Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> no way!" <laughs> so I think there's like an inherent bond because they are, you know, their family and their blood. And without their parents around, I think they've kind of I think your character Tom perhaps is is trying to look out for Valerie more than she feels that she mm. needs mm-hmm. yeah I mean and that comes from a place of loyalty and he, he does just want to protect her and uh, yeah sometimes that could be a bit overzealous and that, and that is the case here but yeah it's out of absolute pure loyalty yeah, it's definitely a, an interesting, uh, interesting dynamic. I've got three sisters, so you can relate to the, the sibling dynamic. <laughs> that must have been a mad household. <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. So two soldiers and the nurse found ourselves in Amsterdam. So the setting of this movie and the visuals are incredible. Why do you think audiences should see it on the big screen? This is the most visually stunning film you are going to see. Maybe ever. Shall I be so bold? Yes. Yeah. Maybe you can ever. Be. You should be. <laughs> but it it truly is so stunning. I think I I mean I've I've watched it with friends at the premiere the other night who aren't normally that conscious of cinematography or lights or costumes. You know they don't normally comment on things like that, and they were like, "Whoa, this is." beautiful it's so visually arresting i often say this when someone's like but big screen versus watching like why do i you know a lot of my friends are certain movies i'm like please you have to see it on the big screen mm. at least the first time and our cinematographer emmanuel lebeski chivo he would all often go to david and uh, david would want a, a tight close-up and he'd say let's stay in the wide please try to stay in the wide because it's just so special and and uh it has such depth, texture, richness, and it, it really was beautiful. To we sh- yeah, day we in shot in day amazing out. locations. We shot on the Queen Mary, which is a giant haunted boat, and we shot that as the Waldorf Hotel. So in the movie, when they go to a hotel, we actually shot at a ginormous haunted boat that floats <laughs> in the ocean in LA. I mean, it's just, we shot in some insane locations. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's incredible, and like so unique to this film as well. Yeah, you weren't there in the Waldorf, were you? Mm-mm. It's actually haunted. Really? Yeah. The Queen Mary. Yeah, is a haunt. It actually haunted, and it, it's creepy as when you're there. What happened? Any stories? I'll tell you after. I also okay. did a Halloween there once. It's very fun. Did you? Yeah. You threw the Halloween party at the Queen. No, we just. I'll tell you. Oh, okay. we, we should go sometimes. All right. With you two, it'll be a cakewalk. These are dangerous times. You be careful. I'm about to do something that could cost me my life. The cuckoo is in the nest and the cuckoo is about to be trapped. Cuckoo. So after watching Amsterdam, I found myself thinking about it and the storyline quite a lot on the walk home. And I was just wondering if audiences could take one thing away from this film, what would you like it to be? There's something that Valerie says a lot in the film. It's like there's a good part and there's a bad part. You know, sometimes the bad part is coming, but for now we're in the good part. And and I just my takeaway is that when it's good, enjoy it. Just mm. just live in the good part while you have it. That's a pretty iconic line, I think. And uh, Rami, what do you think? I just I'm always I'm taken aback by the, the line in the film at the end. Where it's not a spoiler, but you know, John David Washington says history repeats itself, and it's it's a you know positive version of that because we hear that phrase. Uh, and it's likened to so many negative moments in history, but in this one, it's likened to one of the most 
uh, euphoric, beautiful, joyful times when these three people were together embracing life to the fullest. And I hope everybody steps out of the theater and, uh, and tries to capture that in their own. One last tiny question. What's your guys favorite thing about going to the cinema? Oh my God. I love, I love everything about going to the cinema. I love watching the trailers beforehand. I love the smell of popcorn. I used to, when I was little sit, you know, if I couldn't actually buy a movie ticket, I'd sit in the lobby of the cinema just so I could smell the popcorn and watch the trailers run of the mm, movies coming no up. Way. Yeah. I used to do that for hours without even actually going to a movie. There's nothing like that communal experience yeah. where, where you know, you're sharing something in the moment. Uh, you know, you can all be sitting sitting forward uh, at Hear the edge of your seat. Hear everyone gasp at the same time or laugh at the same mm-hmm. time. Yeah, that's the best thing, isn't it? The, the shared experience of the cinema yeah. environment. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. I think we're, uh, we're out of time now, but I really appreciate it. And I love the film, so thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Olivia. Thank you, Olivia. This is one of the finest innovations from Zurich. It removes all pain. Guys like me, we have to turn to booze, the morphine, and that can lead to addiction. Oh, that's fast. Mm-hmm. That is advanced. Mm-hmm. <laughs>